He who endures will achieve anything in life. As Seneca once said, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Whenever we encounter a huge setback in life or face any bigger problems, we come to a situation where our brains stop thinking and we decide to quit immediately. We start blaming that why just me? You just want to give up that moment because it looks totally just impossible or you just pray for a miracle. When everything goes against you in that moment in your heart, some words are echoing like, am I going to make it? That's when most people turn back. See my friend, life is not easy at all. There are going to be challenges and you are going to get bit down. That's the way life is. So how can you overcome the hard times, problems or challenges? See problems are not conquered by praying, blaming or just giving up. Difficulties can be conquered by being mentally strong and top. There is a powerful quote of Muniba Mazzari that I want you to remember. It says, sometimes the problems are not too big, but we are too small to handle them. That is why it looks like impossible. Today I'm going to share with you six stoicism lessons for mental toughness. And if you apply them in your life, it will never be the same. Number one, sew up every day. Woody Allen said, 80% of success is sewing up. Remember the one who sews up every day, no matter what, will succeed. As in sewing up is a synonym for work hard or putting the effort. And so by pushing hard, they are increasing their chances of success. Maybe too, history shows us millions of examples of extremely successful people who are not as talented, but more disciplined, focused, and hardworking. All you need to do is sew up, action, act, no matter what. If you are a student, sit down every morning and open that book. If you are a bodybuilder, sew up at the gym. If you are a writer, sew up at the keyboard. Start writing. Take action. It is a simple hack for success. And no matter how hard the goal is, don't turn back from taking action. Simon Sinek said, the hardest part is starting. Once you get that out that way, you will find the rest of the journey much easier. According to the Stoics, the act of sewing up consistently, regardless of how we feel, is crucial for developing inner strength. It's not about to do something big, but small daily efforts. Sew up every day, practice every day, even if there are challenges or distractions. You need to sew up consistently every day for weeks, for months, even years. You need a way to keep going not pushing hard during the day. If you kill yourself with work today, you won't be able to sew up tomorrow. You don't control the outcome of every session. Yes, today's video can be the bad one. Yes, the next week or month can turn, not the way you have planned. Sometimes these things just happen. But you do control one thing. You can still sew up tomorrow. And you can trust that the compounding effect of your daily sewing up will providing the result will provide the result you want. You can still get out of bed and tie those shoelaces. After you put on those sneakers, going for a run will be the easiest bit. Putting on sneakers is 80% of a successful run. Whenever you are having a bad day, just tell yourself, I did the most important part. I showed up because most people don't. Number two, one more time, always push yourself. Phil Van Turieren once said, Eagles were not given wings just to walk everywhere. And you were not born with resilience and a beautiful mind just to have an easy life. Always anticipate that things will be hard and difficult. Do not expect that life will be easy. And then be ready to do the work with consistency, with high intensity. When you expect life to be hard, that moment you challenge yourself. From that moment you are ready to face anything. You are ready to do that work anyway. The Stoic said, always challenge yourself, never let your mind dominate you. Always command your mind, do a little bit more than yesterday. If your mind tells you to stop, that is the moment. Tell your mind that one more rep, one more seat, one more mile. Stoic says, if you really want to know what you are capable of, push yourself to the limits. If you really want to realize your true potential, push yourself to the limits. If you really want to discover the hidden treasures within you, push yourself to the limit. If you want to soar high in the sky like eagles and be glorious like the mountain, push yourself to the limit. Number three, embrace adversity as a teacher. Stoic says adversity was a natural part of life. It comes and goes as it wishes. But if you want to overcome an adversity, you have to strengthen your character. And the character is made of by consistent and mental toughness. Seneca said there are people who don't know how to overcome adversity. They get frustrated easily and started complaining. They blame their fate. Epictetus said, treat the adversity as your teacher. 
Look to the adversity as a source of growth. While it may be uncomfortable, focus on what you can learn from that adversity. Focus on what you can make better next time. Epictetus said, when you focus on good side of the adversity, when you treat it as your teacher or trainer, you got yourself out of victim mindset. You will find the lesson and pass through for the better. Number four, Amor Fadi. Accept reality, don't fight it. Friedrich Nietzsche said, my formula for greatness in a human being is Amor Fadi. That one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity, not merely bear what is necessary, still less consolate, but love it. The Stoic said, life will not always be easy. There will be situation which will be out of your control. You cannot control everything that happens to you, but you can control the way you respond to it, the way you feel. And your response is your greatest power. Yes, most of your stress comes directly from the way you think and respond, not the way life is. So just your attitude. Don't bother worrying about whether there will be problems. There will be plenty of them. But no matter what happens with you, maybe you have just failed in the test or someone just make fun of you or someone just criticize you or ignore you. Still, you can control your feeling. It's in your hands. So the question is, how can we control our feelings in those situations? The Stoic provides a simple techniques, which is called Amor Fari. It says that whatever it is happening in your life, accept this situation like it happens as you wished. Whatever the present moments contain, accept it as if you had chosen it. When you live in complete acceptance of what is, that is the end of all drama in your life. This is Amor Fari. Fari means the fate and the Amor means love. So it means the love for fate. Accept the fate as the way it is. Epictetus who experienced disability and the life of a slave said, do not seek for the things to happen the way you want them to. Rather wish that what happens happen the way it happens, then you will be happy. Number five, color your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius said, the things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Stoic knows that it takes a lot of practice to stop letting fear and anger and other bad emotions to block the logical thinking that we are all capable of. Marcus was reminding himself that we have to train our minds to examine all of our impulses and in initial reactions. The way we think and define the world around us is a habit and you cannot change our habit without real effort. If we once build the habit of being sad in every bad situation, then we will be sad in every moment. You will see negativity in every situation then. That is why you must build a positive habit in you to find good side in every problems. And once you build this habit, you will be the master to manage your thoughts no matter what. Every situation, no matter how bad it seems, contains some opportunity for you to become a better person. So the next time you notice negative thoughts in your head, remember that you really do have the power to change the color of your impressions. Not by fooling yourself, but by deciding you are going to make the best of everything that life puts in your path. There are power in positive thinking. The more you become positive, the more your mind gets stronger. So keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Start thinking positive every day. Practice doing positive affirmation every day and start writing your thoughts in a journal. This will teach you to be positive and mentally strong in every situation. And number six, measure you against you. Seneca says the best way to become mentally weak and low confident person is comparing yourself to others. But he said, instead of comparing yourself with others, focus on you, analyze yourself, your attitude, your mindset. Compare yourself with your past self. What you can change today, what you can change today, what you can improve today about yourself. What is your highest value? What can you do better tomorrow? And what did you accomplish today? Did I act with courage and patience in difficult times? Did I control emotions like anger, fear, anxiety? Have I lived my life the best way? When you focus on yourself, think about yourself and ask yourself this question. You actually grow, you improve, you become mentally top. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video as much as possible.